home with Rock. Growing up in the South during the era of segregation, Joan Mulholland was originally unaware about the situation, but that all changed when she turned 10 years old. The school for black students was basically a one-room shack. The school for white students in that area was a brand new post-World War II building, and I could see very clearly the difference and that felt it wasn't fair. By the time she was 23, Mulholland had participated in more than 50 sit-ins and demonstrations. She was a freedom rider, a participant of the Jackson Woolworth sit-in, and helped organize the March on Washington. The movement, the folks in that, we became family. And today, you know, 50, 55 years later, we can run into each other and it's just like we were together yesterday. Mulholland's accomplishments, however, came with consequences, as her life was constantly in danger. It was a constant concern that places could be bombed or you could be shot into or attacked. Mulholland's talk comes exactly one week after Donald Trump's presidential election sparked outrage across the country and even on our very own campus. Mulholland says there are similarities between the Trump protests and the protests she participated in. However, the messages in the Trump protests have a different meaning than what people think. It was not a protest so much as a thank you to Obama and a vigil um, for peace. With any sort of problem, she says the solution is clear. The revolution isn't over. It's like a stream that just flows and flows. Mulholland says the fight has only just begun. Alyssa Weiner, WTOP 10 News.